Oklahoma, they landed another elite defensive lineman for the 2024 class. The Sooners D-line just got better with the addition of four-star Nigel Smith. He just announced his commitment to the Sooners. He goes six foot four, 264 pounds from Melissa, Texas, the number 15 ranked D-lineman in the country and the 100th best player overall, according to the On3 industry rankings. Now, last week, Oklahoma missed on five-star defensive lineman Dominic McKinley, but the Sooners bounced back with the addition of Smith. All right, Sooner fans, do me a favor right now. Hit the subscribe button on the On3 Recruits channel. We used to be doing this over on the On3 channel. Now we got a recruiting-only channel right here at On3 Recruits, so hit that subscribe button. All right, let's bring on Josh McQuistion of Soonerscoop.com. Josh, Smith chose OU over Texas, Texas A&M, Ohio State, and more. How did they win out for Smith? Josh, it's unbelievable that we're getting used to doing these for Oklahoma defensive linemen here. This is becoming uh, familiar. (laughs) But, you know, I think really this is an, uh, a relationship that got established early. Uh, this was one of Oklahoma's first offers under Brent Venables that happened in, um, uh, in the class of 2024, and they really focused on him, brought him to multiple camps. And I, I believe he's been to Oklahoma something like 10 or 11 times in the mm-hmm. last year or so. So it's just a, it's a familiarity thing. I think they did a good job recruiting his family, his father, uh, former college basketball player. So he had some familiarity with how to handle all of this, what, what the recruiting cycle would be like. And I think they did a good job making them comfortable. And, uh, of course, you know, coming to him with this is what they expect the defensive line to be going forward rather than this is what it's been and this is the NFL track record that obviously is below where it be going forward. So I think they sold him on he could be part of, of rebuilding a defensive line and doing so in the SEC. So what will his role be in that defense? Is he going to play beside David Stone? Can he Is he versatile? Can he play out on the edge? What's his role? Yeah, that's a really interesting question because I know Nigel has been very adamant that he wants to play defensive end. That's where he sees himself. Mm -hmm. And you said, I mean, at 6'4", 260, that's within the realm of possibility. But again, like I mentioned, his dad's a former college basketball player. His dad's about 6'8". He is an enormous human being. (laughs) And you wonder, does, does Nigel still have some growth in him? Does that still happen? Or does he just start to fill out that frame where he is? And at 265, I mean, we see these guys usually... You get to college and you're 285 before you knew what happened. So uh, I can see a lot of different endings for him. We know Brent Venables is comfortable playing with some bigger defensive ends through his time at Clemson and and Oklahoma as well. So I think there really is kind of an open-ended answer to that. But I think he'll start at defensive end. I think they want to be sincere about giving him that opportunity but there may be a you know a conversation down the line where they say, "Hey, look, you can play defensive end, you can be a good player for us, or maybe you could move inside, and that's that's maybe a little brighter future for you." All right, Josh. Well, I have a feeling, it's just a gut feeling, that this might not be the last video that you and I tape of Oklahoma defensive lineman commitments. Could there be another edition coming on the D line this month? It's unbelievable, Josh. Like We've been doing these every other week. I mean, you start with Williams Benary and then David Stone and Dominic McKinley, and now obviously with Nigel Smith. We may be doing one for Danny Okoye in the very near future. Now, it's going to mess up the uh, alternating schedule we've had where it's been hit, miss, hit, miss, but uh, it seems like Oklahoma's in really good shape. Danny Okoye came in last weekend for the Arkansas, Arkansas State visit. It was his official and uh, I think Oklahoma just did a really good job convincing him that they're on the right track. They're doing what they need to do, kind of like I talked about with Nigel Smith. You know, this defensive line is going to be better going forward than it is right now. And on top of that, I mean, you look at as dominant as Oklahoma was defensively, the real question coming out of that game was edge rushers. You know, what are they yeah. going to do? How are they going to create pressure? And I think that's an easy sell for a guy like Danny Okoye, who – Whatever else Danny has to develop, he has some natural pass rushing ability. All right. Well, we'll see what happens later this month. But for now, Sooner fans, we're just riding that roller coaster of Oklahoma D-line recruiting. You got to take the highs and the lows. And today, we're celebrating the highs as top 100 defensive lineman Nigel Smith has committed to the Sooners. Josh McQuistion, thank you for dropping by the Inside Scoop. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.